All right, you guys know, first of all, Glorilla and JT, big shout out to Glorilla and, and big shout out to JT City Girls. All right, and you know this is a Miami-based platform, all right? So we got to represent home team here. Once again, big shout out to JT. Now, I've noticed it. I'm not there. I'm not a vet. I'm not I'm not really um how do you say? I'm not acclimated to how people research things on the internet as in Instagram and things of that nature. So what I'm saying is people have taught me if you see certain people are not following each other on Instagram or, or whatever social platform, but you notice that their their friends are following this person, that's an indication that there might be a, a pre-existing issue there. And the, the, the irony is, I noticed that Glorilla and JT don't follow each other. And this is the irony. I noticed this like literally two days ago. All right? Now, my mind, the wheel in my head starts turning. You know what I mean? Because, you know, we're in a podcasting space now. So this is what I do. I look for those. I search for those type of things. Not to be in the women's business. All right? But I did notice that JT and Gorilla do not follow each other. And, um, um, but now to me today, I looked on Instagram. I'm checking out Academics page. And what I noticed today is JT and uh, uh, Glorilla kicked off. So I don't know how far this is going to go. I never knew that they had any pre-existing issues, but it would be safe to assume when you see these ladies are not following each other, there's a pre-existing um, pre thing going on there. Um, I think Glorilla follows Young Miami. And this is a big thing with Young Miami and JT because it seems like, let me tell you something. I'm a person, I will tell you, your friends are ne not necessarily my friends. This is what I always tell all my comrades, all right? Your friends are not necessarily my friends. And it looks like this is the same issue with JT and Young Miami. If you guys see, Young Miami has some alliances with some people that are oppositions to JT. They oppose JT. And those indications are there when you see that they're not following each other. And, you know, JT, you would think JT and Young Miami was a tandem, right? They come together as a pair. All right? So, nonetheless... Like I speculated, JT and, and Gorilla have a pre-existing issue with each other. Now, we about to go on Instagram. I'm going to go on Academics page, all right? And, and, and big shout out to Academics, all right? So this is hot on the press. This is, based, this is something new that uh, it just, um, I don't know how long this issue has been going on, but it actually it, it, it came to head today. All right. If you guys are knows, let me get one. Let me pull this up. Let me pull this up on the screen. Allow me one moment. Bada bing, bada bang. All right. Let's go, champ. Bada bing. All right. All right, you guys. What we're looking at right now is JT's Instagram page, all right? Make sure you guys are hitting that like button once again. Don't be a ninja watcher. That's a person that be creeping and watching. Don't be no pocket watcher because that's just a hater. And you definitely want to be one of these days in German. That's what we call a peeping time. If y'all don't know what they do to peeping times, just don't go to jail and you will never have to find out, all right? But like I said, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. Make sure you guys are interacting with the page. Leave a comment. We call that leaving a fingerprint. Uh, wiping your feet on the rug would be considered uh, showing your signs of respect and just hitting that like button. All right. Now, let's go into this actual JT post on Instagram. All right. You guys can see here, I just pulled up um, JT on Instagram off the of DJ Academics page. Now, JT is seen. She made a post. She said, I've, I've been said she didn't. She the one that went radio silent, played into, released a song about slapping rap, the B word. We're going to hold back on the B word right now because the first 15 minutes on YouTube, you got to watch with the, the, the cursing and things of that nature, all right? So slapping the rap B, now it's female unity, corny, all right? Now as you see what it says on female rap, shout out to this, um, this Instagram page. They said JT responds to comment about the rumor her and Gorilla got into a fight. So apparently there's a rumor that JT and JT and Gorilla got into a fight. Now, me myself, LOTS approved me that I've never, I was never uh, uh privy to that. I never knew that JT nor uh, Gorilla ever had any type of altercation. All right. So this is unbeknownst to me, obviously. Now let's go to a few tweets before. All right. All right, 
this is something that JT also said. These are random things that JT placed on on Instagram. All right? And like I said, this this uh just initially kicked off, like probably in the, within the last hour or so. All right. Now she said, "Ugly shouldn't leave your mouth ever, Joe. You look like you was born feet first. Um, um, dussy. Well, I can't even use. I can't even say those curse words right now. Give me another fifteen minutes and I will go in. I promise you. All right. Don't mention me. Secret animosity. Why? So I think she's referring to. Uh, and I don't know. She's saying Joe. So I don't know if she's referring to." Uh, I don't know if she's referring to what's her name. I don't know if she's referring to Glorilla, but that might be Joe Budden. So you guys forgive me here, all right? Okay. Now this is Glorilla. This is Glorilla speaking about uh, 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 J uh, JT, all right? And I don't know who kicked this off first, to be honest with you, but we're gonna decipher this, all right? Glorilla said, "Hold, shut up, dumbass, dumbass, uh, shut your dumbass up. I fixed them ugly and fix, uh, and fix them ugly wigs. I said it ain't no beef, ho." You the one with the secret animosity, all right? So, Glorilla's basically saying that JT has secret animosity for her, which I didn't know, all right? And she says, um, this is JT. She's responding to JT posting this. I've been said she didn't. She the one that went radio, silent, played into, released a song about slapping rap bees. Now it's female unity. Corny. So, Let's go. Let me let me let's read some more. Let me read some more. And we'll, we'll we'll break everything down. We'll break everything down. Let me see here. Bada bing. All right. So let's leave it at that. All right. All right, you guys. So with that being said, so apparently JT saying that that Glorilla winner uh dropped the song basically saying that she was gonna slap rap chicks. And now she's saying that she's holding Glorilla to her word. Because she's saying, I guess Glorilla started screaming unity in women women in rap. So you guys know at the end of the day, we all want to un unify these women. Right? It's a cat fight. Those in it's enjoying, it's entertaining. It's very entertaining. I still want to see women come together. So I don't know JT just bringing that to, bringing that to her attention that you kind of created a division to how you want to slap rap, rap chicks. We're going to say chicks and replace it with beef for right now. Um... I'm not sure how this actually started, right? Because there has to be a precursor to this. There has to be something prior to this that kicked this, that initiated this, this so-called beef. All right. Um, but nonetheless, you guys see both parties are not backing down. JT's not backing down, and I don't think Glorilla's going to back down. Now, I don't want to go into the tip for tat speaking about who said what, woo de woo. That's woman business. But let's break this down in its entirety, right? Look at the grand scheme of things, all right? In reference to JT and Glorilla, when you guys see people that don't get along, that are in the same field, that have some of the same similarities, they're rappers, they're from the hood, they're not the conventional light skin type of, these are some hood chicks, all right? And they're both beautiful. They're both beautiful. I give it to them, right? Glorilla. Glorilla gets a lot of attention as well as JT, obviously. Shout out to JT. Shout out to Glorilla. But what I'm alluding to is I think JT and Glorilla are too similar as characters. I think, actually, what I feel is they're so similar in character that it's kind of hard for them to get along together. I don't know if you guys remember this, but in, in school, in high school, in middle school, in elementary Sometimes you didn't get along with somebody, right? You guys go through your initial, you meet each other. Uh, one person rubs the other person off, uh, uh, rubs the, the other person wrong. Somebody's feathers get ruffled in a nutshell. And it, it, creates, it creates a beef there, right? You guys, there's some turmoil that develops there. But you ever notice when we was kids, if we're able, if we have the luxury, if we're able to resolve these situations between you and that person, once you develop a, a some type of rapport with that person, you eventually realize that you and this person might have some similarities and more similarities than you would like to admit to. And this is something big because I recognize that as a child, right? A lot of times that what I'm trying to say is a lot of times we argue with people that we're so similar alike that that's the reason why we even get into that initial turmoil. 
in actuality, we have so many similarities. That's what's causing us to bump heads. And you guys, I think, ladies and gentlemen, this is what JT and Glorilla are suffering from. Because in my eyes, right, the way I look at things, JT is an underdog. Coming from out of a, a, a tandem, coming from a group, she's now proving herself as a solo artist. Glorilla is an underdog, all right? You got to see what Glorilla went through when she dropped that cha-cha-cha. She already said that probably wasn't the... I'm not. She didn't say that was the, the wrong move, but that song was not well received. There was a song that Glorilla did with, with uh, Fabio Foreign that was not quite well received. Now, coming from coming from the high expectations of FN and, and, and Tomorrow and these other great records that Glorilla released, this didn't get the same response. It didn't get the same amount of views that usually her typically her music her music gets. Mind you, she's virtually a, a new artist. So what I'm saying is, Gorilla and JT have a lot of similarities. They're both from the hood. They're underdogs. They're pretty hood princesses, right? And they and they hood with it. And I think that's the issue more so. But nonetheless, shout out to Gorilla. Keep rocking. I like that new music that Glorilla just released. Uh, um, I'm not sure. Oh, oh, yeah, Glow. Yeah, Glow. The joint that, that LeBron James was seen, uh, seen singing. That song is fire. All right? and he, me as a man, there's certain women songs that I can enjoy. All right? And typically, that's not the case. But every once in a while, there's a woman artist that I, I particularly love her music. right? And I like Glorilla's music. Nonetheless, and I'm definitely I'm rocking with JT because JT is homey, a, a home a home team. All right, uh, excuse me, she's home team. So big shout out to JT from the City Girls and shout out to Glorilla. Nonetheless, you guys make sure you guys are sharing this podcast as soon as you guys come in the building. I've been coming on at different times, so that's why I tell you guys to turn your notifications on. All right, um, not a lot of people in the building because I'm changing different times, but I want you guys to turn your notifications on. I don't care if we have. 10 people in the building. I don't care if we have a 1,000 people in the building. Make sure you guys are sharing this podcast. And once again, don't be a ninja watcher. It's a person that be creeping and watching. They creeping. Creeping. Don't be no pocket watcher. Because y'all know in the hood, when we say pocket watcher, that's somebody that's watching your pocket, envious of you, right? Uh, don't be a pocket watcher because that's just a hater. And you definitely don't want to be one of these ladies and gentlemen. That's what we call a peeping Tom. If y'all don't know what they do to peeping Toms, just don't go to jail, all right? Hit that like button, that thumbs up for me. Wipe your feet on the rug, same way you do at your grandparents' house. Uh, uh, show that you guys are raised correctly. Show me that you have manners and don't embarrass your parents, all right? Now, you guys moving right along. Listen, I want to give a big shout out to the NYC. Shout out to the whole tri-state area, all right? Recently, uh, there was an earthquake in New York, all right? And it's heard throughout outside of New York. I don't know what other states experienced. I'm pretty sure maybe Jersey felt some of the impact.